Hello, in this session we will talk about what is scalability and what is horizontal and vertical scaling. This is Hassan Mir from 02protraining.com. The term scalability is defined as the ability to handle a growing amount of work in a capable manner. So we understand scalability is an ability, but ability for what? Ability for a system, network or a process to handle growing amount of work. The term scalability is a general term that could be used in context of hardware systems as well as the programs. In this session, we will be talking in context of hardware systems. In order for a system to handle more work, one of the two things should happen. Either you need to give more power to that system or you need to add more systems. So scalability could be achieved using one of the two methods, horizontal scaling and vertical scaling. Vertical scaling or scaling up means you add more resources to the existing computer or let's call it a node. For example, you might want to increase the size of the CPU or add more CPUs. You might want to add more memory and you might want to add more disk space. For example, in order for a system to give you more storage, you need to add more disk. In order for a system to process more data for you within the same period of time, you need to add more CPU and more memory. No matter how scalable or powerful your computer is, vertical scaling has a limit. You cannot make a single computer more powerful than a particular point. So this is where traditional approach of handling big data fails. You cannot buy one or two more p very powerful computers and expect them to handle a huge amount of data because the data keeps on increasing. So this is where horizontal scaling comes into the picture. One application of vertical scaling is you can make a computer very powerful by adding more and more resources and then you can use that computer for virtualization. You can create multiple virtual computers out of that single powerful physical computer. Horizontal scaling on the other hand means rather than making a node more powerful, you add another node. So you keep on adding more and more nodes as you need more and more power. The term scaling out is also used for horizontal scaling. There is usually a linear correlation between the number of computers and the performance. So if you can process X amount of data in a certain time, in order to process 2X amount of data, you need to double your computers. So this is where linear scaling comes handy and it is very affordable. Why? Because the computers you are using in linear scaling are normal commodity computers which are very affordable in price. So the prices of computers have gone down with the passage of time and yet the power of the computer has increased with the passage of time. The term commodity computer is used to represent a computer which is very affordable in price you can easily get from the market and it is not super powerful so the idea is that you can connect hundreds of these commodity computers together to achieve a very high performance computing system in fact when commodity computers are connected together in a distributed system we're talking about thousands of computers they will produce a better performance than a scientific computer with risk processor in it there are certain factors that have played an important role in promotion of horizontal scaling model over the vertical scaling model. For example, the prices of commodity computers have been going down and the power of a commodity computer has been going up with the passage of time and also high performance interconnects are now available that connects two computers together. Horizontal scaling works on a distributed systems model, meaning where multiple computers are connected together. So to take advantage of horizontal scaling, you need specialized programs that are designed to take advantage of a distributed system that can pass the processing to multiple computers and that can store the data on multiple computers. Programs are being developed to take advantage of horizontal scaling, for example, Hadoop, MongoDB, etc. All these programs are designed to work on distributed systems and they are designed to tackle the issues of big data. There was a time when vertical scaling was a better option because computers were very expensive. Now commodity computers are getting cheaper and more powerful. Horizontal scaling is likely to produce more value in future.